Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we have something fancy, something special, something wanderous. This right here is the newest release of Scarlet and Violet, Night Wanderer. And honestly, I'm excited, but I don't know much about this. So I present to some and introduce to others, the man of the hour, the man who is sponsoring this video, the owner of Conquest Cards, Mr. Weecho himself. Tell us something about this. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so this is uh, Night Wander. So essentially, what this is 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 the Japanese version of what will be released here in the U.S. as uh, Shrouded Fable. Now that comes out in August. This came out about two weeks ago. So with this set, we're gonna get like a sneak peek of what we can expect for the Shrouded Fable set coming out here in the U.S. Hold on, wait a minute. Are you gonna have this in your store? Yes, we're gonna have that at the store, most okay. definitely. By the store, I mean in Avon, Indiana. Avon, Indiana, correct. Con what, what is the name of the store again? Conquest Cards. Okay, so if you're in Indiana, if you're in the Midwest, make sure to stop by. Honestly, if you're on planet Earth, just stop by, okay? So let's go ahead and get an open in this pack because I'm excited for it. All right, let's get to it. Let's see here. We also have Mr. Scyther here if you need it. Or Scizor. Slide that in right there. If you need it, but we'll get to it. At least what we can say is that it hasn't been tampered with. Oh, this is real sealed. <laughs> there it is. There we go. All right, perfect. Let's see here. Now, what are the case cards on this? I don't know much about it, but I haven't got to see. Some really, some really cool ones are the Cassiopeia uh, one. Casanova. Cassie, Cassiopeia um, is a, a character in the game. So for you who've played the game and have gone through it, you guys know who Cassiopeia is. Um, there's a really nice SAR um, card in this set for her. Personally, the one that I will be chasing is going to be the Houndoom okay. um, illustrator, uh, illustration rare, because that one is it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I think you showed me the artwork, and that was really nice. It was the yeah. full art, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you did show it. really nice. Now, how many cards are we to expect in the Japanese pack, or each pack? So the, the box itself comes with 30 packs. Um, each pack comes with five Okay. in there. So the hit rates are not the best. Not like, the best. I'll, I'll do this one, for example. Um, there's five cards in this pack. There's a chance that I might get something really nice, or there's a chance that I'll just get all basic. All right, hold on, question. Are we talking Silver Tip is bad, or are we talking Standard Sword and Shield bad? Um, bad as in no hollow, no reverse hollow, oh, all okay. basic cards. So we're talking bad, because Silver Tip is the, that put me in the red. Yeah, let's, let's not talk about that, but it put me in the red. At least it wasn't no evolving prize, you know, chasing after the moon beyond. Oh, Lord. All right, so for the Japanese cards, um, they have like this little notch here. Um, I, tore, I tore it a little bit to like make it more visible for the video. But ideally what you want to do is you want to pull it and you want to pull it down. Ideally it would come all the way down, but some doing this is good enough. But I like to just pull it from the top and then it'll open nicely. So question, do you have to put one or two cards over? Actually, I'm not really sure on the trick on Let's this find one. Out. You guys will find um, out. I want to say it's just one up, one over. Like the modern Scarlet and Violet, you just do one up. Okay. Um, so we've got this guy kind of looks like me. I don't remember okay. his name, but. <laughs> okay. Um, I, this one, if I remember correctly, I think it's like Fru, Fru, something yeah, like that. Yeah, he looks like an Edgar. Then I have. Oh, there's the Hound, dude. Okay. Not the one we're looking for, Let's but. Move this out the way. And a dust skull, if I'm not mistaken. And oh, I forgot the name of this. It. It's the evolution of um, the Esol or something, yeah. something along those lines. But like, like I was saying, like, and these ones run the risk of not getting any hollows. So, if so we're you, off the hard start. Yeah. So if you purchase one of these and then you see that you don't have any hollows. It's not that they've been tampered with, it's just that's that's the risk of this uh, these cards. 
All right, guys, so I know he made a whole tutorial video on how to open these. Trust me, I've had my fair share of Japanese packs that I just can't open, so we bring Mr. Handy Dandy, the one and only. What are we, what are we calling this one? It's your sister, isn't it? My assistant what? Nah, I would go with Mr. Skizzers. Skizzers. All right, so one or two. One to the front. One to the front, let's go with that. Let's flip it over. Okay. All right. Ooh. Japanese artwork is just different. It is just different. This is, Ooh. okay. Oh, Ooh. in the hollow, Ooh. Let's nice. look at it. So what's different about these cards? What is, can you explain what happens down here at the bottom? They show who, what do these names right here represent? So down, down here in the bottom left, you'll see who the illustrator of the art is. So for this one, it would be Tsu, Tsuyoshi uh, Nagano. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but Tsuyoshi Nagano is the one who illustrated this art right here. But also if you look down next to the, uh, the number of the card, um, you'll see that this is a rare. Oh, okay. That's what it, that's what the R stands for. Um, on this one, it's got a U. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it stands for uncommon. Uncommon, okay. Right? It's not. It's uncommon because of the evolution of. Makes sense. Yep. And then we've got the commons. Well, oh shit! Opening packs up. For, I've been opening up Pokemon packs for years, and I, I guess I just learned something. Show me how to open this pack without assistance. Okay. So, I haven't ripped this one. There's a little, little groove right at the edge here. Yank it open. You just grab it. And then you pull it like a loose tooth. Now, ideally, like I said, it would come all the way down. But once you get that little opening, just pull it open. All right, guys, I'm actually, uh, I'm going to put my assistant to rest for a moment. Once we're done with this, we're right. going to do one to the front. Flip it over. All right, we got me again. That's not a good sign. The Eevee, which is really nice. I, I like good. that art. Ooh, a horsey. Ooh, an axe here, if I'm not mistaken. And another one. So I'm not having any likes. We're no hollows. No or but reverse hollows. How many come in how many packs come in this box though? Uh like I said, the whole the whole booster box comes with 30. 30? Okay. Seems pretty reasonable. Now I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see. Grab edge. Feel confident. Be him. Rip. All the way out. I, do, I messed up. Where's Mr. Assistance? We put this down for a second. Get this going. We'll try it on the next pack. I'll get there. Trust the process. Yeah, that was pretty low. I never gave it a Ooh. I almost messed up. That would have been rough. One down. Flip over. There's only five in this one. Right? Wow, yes, that's beautiful. Five. I know well, it's I like a hollow, but that's nice. Five. Yes. Let's move you out the way. A little drowsy. An Eevee. Hex you, yeah, I believe. And oh, this is definitely what we need since we keep taking the L's on our first four packs. Let's put this to the side and let's get you back in here to open another one. Now, we'll teach you one more time. <laughs> Grab it, right? Okay. And you can just pull it, right? You want to at least get the corner. Guys, that's what I did. You saw it. And then you can just pull it like this. So this is so go. brutal. All right, one to the front. Oh, nice little art right there. Drowsy. Oh, this looks like a copy of yours. Oh, there's the hound tomb again. Is that a good sign? Can we get a sign at all? <laughs> oh. oh, and all right. Uh, Genesect. So that's pack number what, five? I believe so, I yes. You have three? I believe so. So we've taken five bells in a row? Five bells. Let me show you, you how got a hollow. You got a hollow. Did I get, I did get a hollow. Let me show yeah. you how, to, I'm so, showing you. Let's, let's at least put that one. We're doing what he did, right? So we grab right here. Pull. Yep, and grab fingers. Use fingers, make fingers work. I can just oh Lord, this is this is why you said it. 
doing it. Be doing it. Be proud. Be proud, everyone. Please comment that you're proud. Okay, a little drowsy. Uh, evolution of drowsy. So beware of the feminist again. Zubat. Oh, wait. That's not. Uh... I felt it. I felt it. I see that guy. That's really nice. You have to trust the process. Oh, my. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. We're definitely going to sleeve it. While you open up the next pack, I'm going to definitely sleeve this one, okay? All right. All right. Cool. Let me move these out the way. Now, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but we. What you just pulled is pretty much the pull of the box. Holy smokes. If I'm not mistaken. On that. No, I don't. think there's only one SAR in the hole. Don't mind me, I'm gonna just slide this one here. No flex at all. Just put that right there. Alright, let's see. If we can at least get a hollow. I haven't been able to get hollow yet. So at your score, are you only gonna have Pokemon stuff? No, no, I'm also going to have um, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, you know, the standard um, trading card, collectible games. Okay, so I am a sucker for Dragon Ball, my lord. Yes. I am a sucker for Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, and will you have that? I will have, I will have uh, Dragon Ball, yes. Oh. And a nice little E-X right there. Oh, no, Mr. That's Stadium, very nice. I think that was on the cover, isn't it? He is, yeah. So he's um, he's one of the ones from the DLC of the game. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's based on uh, Japanese mythology, where um, I believe there's like a prince that goes on a that goes on a um, adventure, and his three companions are a dog, a monkey, and a pheasant, okay. which are represented in the in the front of the. Um, of the box there, and this is one of them. Okay, when, when is the English version releasing, or the American version? Um, is, I'm curious. I can't remember the exact date off the top of my head, but I know it's in August. August, okay. August. Um, here in about three weeks, there we there will be another Japanese set releasing called um, Stellar Miracle. Okay. Um, that set release, releases in the U.S in November, and it's going to be called Stellar Crown. Okay. But we will have... We will have both at the start. Ooh. All right, let's see what we pull here. I'm feeling confident. Okay, so we have a trainer. Isn't this one Absol? Yes. Absol, yes. Okay. Uh, that was a little free food. Oh, 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 is that three hits in a row? With luck. Oh man, nice. I'm gonna definitely just leave this one here in a second. This thing looks nice. Very pretty up. Very nice art. W what is Very it? Nice. So is there a difference between the artwork of the Japanese version and the American version? Uh, no. The yeah. art... The artwork, at least in regards to the full arts, and the artwork that we see in the cards here are pretty much going to be the same. So okay. the cards that we're, we're seeing now are pretty much the cards that you're going to see at the um, the English release in um, oh sorry uh, Shouted Fable. Okay. And this one called Night Wanderer. This one is called Night Wanderer. Correct. Okay. Awesome. Um, so what what Pokemon used to do for the Japanese sets, at least what they did for. Um, for Scarlet and Violet, they would release two sets, and both of those would combine to form one set of the American. Okay. Okay, so two Japanese would create the whole American set. Exactly. That's awesome. And what's the second set of this one? Who's that? They're doing they're doing a little bit different for this one. Okay. So this one's going to be by itself. So this set is pretty much the Shrouded Fable set. Okay. Um, and the Stellar Miracle that's going to be releasing in three weeks is the Stellar... Nice. The Stellar Crown that we'll be releasing in November. So, all this free knowledge. All this free knowledge. Then I'm, I'm, I'm taking it in. Now, back to, back to your story, because I am curious about exactly, because you, you've been slightly mysterious and I'm finally getting you to tell me more. 
You mentioned something about board games earlier. Are you going to have those in stock as well? And what kind? Or what, what is your overall approach and what do you want the store to be? Um, really, I just want a place that's, um, that's comfortable for people to come and hang out. Um, I will have board games. I will have board games there. Um, you know, your standard Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Ooh, I'm a sucker for stuff at like D&D. Okay. Um, I am make, I am making Hulu. That's another nice one. Ooh, this is beautiful. That's a very nice one. Okay. You were saying? Um, I will have a, a little area, a little area that has um, some space for for people to hang out um, and test some of the games I, I will be having. So like a for game sale. Room? Yeah, a game room exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I like it. Gives I don't pay entry fee. Uh, no, there will be no entry fee. It's free for people to just come and hang out. So you're doing something different. So it's a hangout spot, but it's also something where you can just purchase all types of packs, in other words. Yep, exactly. Like, I know, personally, I've gone to game stores and whatnot, and I've seen the games on the shelves. I've been curious about it, but sometimes the price puts me off, because what if I don't like the game? I think we went to a store a couple of days ago. We saw a board game, we were highly interested. Yes. But, man, when I tell you 80 to 100 bucks is rough without me being able to, to see if I like it, it's a bit hard. Now, what type of inventory in the sense of quantity are you going to have in the store? Are we talking, you know? I'm, so for, for now, I, I have over a thousand different packs oh, shit. of um, Pokemon alone. Um, that's not counting the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, the so, Magic the Gathering. Wait a minute. How many Pokemon? You said over a thousand? Over a thousand. Packs. Packs. Okay. Just so we remember, he is sponsoring this video. Um, Conquest Cards. Weech is here with me. Let's get this going. And wh what about the other stuff? What do we have? Yeah, I'm also going to be having um, Magic the Gathering. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! So, you know, the, the big three. Um... I also have a little bit of Dragon Ball that I have there now. Uh, I'm working on getting some One Piece, um, other popular okay. other popular games that are um, popping up, um, Battle Spirits. Um, for board games right now, I have a, a smaller selection so far, simply because... Simply because... Uh, Is that a new character for Exactly. That's where I was going at. I'm not as knowledgeable um, for the board game space, um, but I know it's something that I would like to get more informed in and have more experience in. Um, I will be playing some of the games that I that I order. Oh, oh there's another one. Is that a dope? Nice. Um, because I would, if I enjoy it. I'm pretty sure other people will enjoy it. Of course, for sure. Um, I want to. I want to sell stuff that people enjoy. I don't want to just sell stuff just to sell stuff. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I know that that. Like going back to the point, you know, being able to just test play a ton of things. And yeah, I'm going back with Mr. Scissors. I need assistance. Let's just <laughs> let's just bypass this portion. Um, being able to just like play something with your friends and then take it home because, you know, it was at a fair price and all that good. So that's really cool. Um, these uh, packs here, are they part of a, are, are they newly released in the game or how does it link into the game? Because I don't know much about that. So the, the DLC came out some time ago already. Okay, so it's been out. Yeah, so the DLC has been out already. Um, <laughs> no hit. No hit. Yeah, so the DLC has been out already. Um, at this point, the... Um, so, Pokemon is kind of... really good about chugging out um, different content in regards to the um, the trading card space. Okay. Yeah. Um, so they have various releases throughout the year. Um, even in the Sword and Shield era, they had very um, 
very large amount of sets that came in in short periods of time. I will say Sword and Shield era. Boy, I'm a sucker for those. I, I really oh, yes. enjoyed those. I had a lot of luck. I pulled, what was it, two Garatinas, all mm -hmm. four. Ooh. Oh, okay. And a nice little Persian there. Look at that. Cool. We'll talk about that. That's nice. I like it. Like, I like the reflection. Yep. Look at that. Um, I also got most of the Moltres from uh, Chilling Rain, was it? Moltres from Chilling Rain. Man, yes. I, I really enjoyed that one. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I, I spent many a time um, and money <laughs> chasing after the money. Moon money is key. That was yeah. it. Or Moon Brianna, and unfortunately, it still has eluded me. As well as um, the Gengar, the BMX Gengar alt art from you, Fusion Strike. You know which one really hurts? Um, the Lugia from. Oh, Silver Tempest. Oh, the alt art Lugia. Yeah, man, the pain, the pain. That one had. Ooh, a donut. A white blood cell. It's <laughs> still here. Yeah, but uh, Silver Tempest really hurt me. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Even this. Yeah. Even this. This is this is newer. Um, those are beautiful. beautiful. Those are beautiful. Um, you can also find some of these on Twilight Masquerade that just released. Really? Yeah. Same card? Uh, I believe so, yeah. But the, just the art on it, just the look of the card itself. You can find those in Twilight Masquerade. Uh, which awesome. which that one, that said, just released in the US uh, not too long ago. Let's slide this one over here really quick, just so I can. There we go. Let's open up this one. Let's see what. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can go blow for blow. Oh. Or pull for pull. Pull for pull. Nice little jump. I like it. I'm not having a lot of luck. Just be him. Wait, you just pulled a nice Persian. What do you mean you're not having luck? Yeah, compared to to yours, I've only pulled. Three to your four. I mean, who's counting, right? Damn, but who's counting? Um, what's your favorite Pokemon? Of all time, Charizard. Charizard. I want to say that's a generic answer, but man, it's justified. It is a nice Pokemon. Now me, I'm going to just say it, Lucario. Lucario. I'm a sucker for Lucario. Every game I play where I can get him, I get him. Even during Smash Bros, I play with him. Just top favorite. Let's flip this over. Got a trainer, a nice, nice little meow, meow. All right. Ah, so this one has two different types of arts in the set, doesn't it? Yes, so let me see if I can find the other one. So I know you didn't play much of Scarlet and Violet, so you don't know. Okay. But um, Scarlet and Violet introduced this new concept of past forms and future forms. Okay, I, I do remember seeing a bit of that and, and I was highly intrigued just never have time to play mm -hmm. but yeah so I know we, we got it there somewhere. it is here it is okay so, so let's... this is this is the ancient form okay of uh, my goodness I forgot the name of the of the Pokemon but this is the ancient form and this one here is the future form wow, that's of the nice. same one I like so that. if you can notice this one is more robotic and this one is more um, ancient looking, like more question dinosaur. Which one do you like more? Probably gonna go with the left one. It looks Perfect. cleaner, sharper. It does look that way, but I like the wild look of the one. Okay, over here. I can accept that. Go ahead and grab this one and let's get to the next pack. Let's leave this one here. All right, let's see here, pull something else. Well, it looks like we're like about halfway through, somewhere around there. You said this one comes with 30, right? This one comes with 30, yes. I am curious, guys. Go ahead and comment what is your favorite Pokemon of the Scarlet and Violet era. Go. Oh. Now, we're just, now we're just thinking about this card here. Sylveon, you asked what my favorite one was. Yes. It's Charizard. But if you ask me in more detail, like, you know, like a less less um how would i say it mainstream answer although sylveon is pretty mainstream is it a lot of people's favorite yeah sylveon is my second favorite well, i get it compared to charizard not really good yeah i get what you're saying mm -hmm. uh -oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. And I got a nice hollow. Little. Nice little hollow here. Now remember with, with the witch pack with this uh, sword and shield, how you would see the little edge and it had a little bit of hollow exactly. and you get a bit excited and Yeah. I, I still yeah. I love those. And then here when we first opened up a Scarlet and Violet pack, I think we were all like hyped about. Oh, there's a possibility that we've got uh, something hollow, and it was just your standard hollow. Kind of hurt, but it is what it is. Yeah. So the um, the Silver Border has been part of the Japanese um, cards for a while. Okay. Um, the the Silver Border is something that was just recently adopted by the American um, version for Scarlet and Violet. Like in Scarlet and Violet is the first, um, the first era where the silver border, most of them, if not all of them have had the yellow, the yellow borders that they're, they're known for. Okay. Now I know there's no, the date of the opening of your, your store is still a mystery, but is there anything special we're gonna be doing the day of uh yeah so i'm actually for the grand opening i'm actually planning on giving away some pretty cool stuff um so ooh, a nice little what is that lunala chrysalia that's really nice um so yeah so for the grand opening i'm planning to give away some some pretty cool stuff um i won't say quite yet what it is but if people want to follow me on instagram okay. uh, Conquest Cards Indie, I will be posting uh, soon um, some stuff that can be expected for people to win. So some more updates. Exactly. Yeah, with TikTok, right? Yes, Conquest okay. Cards Indie as well. Same thing, okay. Uh, All right. This channel does also have a TikTok. Submit and streams, of course, you know. Yeah. Let's go here, Absol. Give me a nice little hollow. And we got a nice Ooh. little beautiful hollow. That's actually the best card in the whole set. Are we serious? I am dead serious. I'm going to take his word for it because one, he's sponsoring the video, but two, he knows more about this specific pack, but this thing is beautiful. That's um, Pheasant, um, S-A-R, um, the best card in the whole set. So essentially that card is worth what the booster box is worth. Wow. All right, guys, let's go ahead and now uh, call it a day. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're still here, but this thing is beautiful. Yep, we're this here thing for the vibes. Nice. But oh, that's indeed. a very good pull. Oh, that is a nice pull. I will tell you that is a very good pull. If you guys can see it, I have a small pull. Ear to ear at the moment. So you said we're going blow for blow, right? I mean, you've done pretty much dot knock me out. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, no. You Did might you get a god pack. Are god packs available in this, do you think, or no? Um, uh, slide this right here. No blacks, no blacks. Just not that I'm aware of. Um, I'm not sure God Packs are part of this. I they are part of the um, Pokemon 151, which I do have. Oh, okay. I do have, and um, because you know, because we're cool and whatnot, I was thinking of hooking you up Ooh. with a box of 151. Hopefully, you can get one of the the Master Balls. Or the um, God Pack. All right, hold up, pause. You guys heard it. He said keyword hookup, not pay, which means free, right? On stream. So we'll go ahead and definitely open those packs a, a later date, but it is exciting. Um, again, another big ass smile, but let's just get to the next one. Uh, is it the Japanese one, right? Japanese 151, that is great. Okay. Yeah. So. The good day. so the Pokemon 151 Japanese are, is the only one that you can get like a whole booster box of. Um, are you, you can't buy the indi individual ones, or what do you mean? So the not in the American ones. In the American ones, the only way that you can get the 151 packs is for you to get like a premium collection um, box, like uh, the Mew UPC Ultimate Premium Collection, or other box. Or ETBs. Okay. On the other hand, the Japanese 151, um, you can get a whole booster box 
And since you can get a whole booster box, that gives you the chance of possibly getting a uh, Master Ball. Okay, and what, so you only get one Master Ball per, per box, or how does that work? Yes, so you only get one Master Ball per booster box. Okay. So if you were, for instance, if you were to, um, for your very first pack that you opened for the 151, you were to get a, let's say, throw random, a Master Ball Caterpie. Okay. Then that's it. That's the only Master Ball that you're getting for that whole box. Oh, okay, okay. Now that doesn't mean like stop opening packs and throw everything away. Uh, yeah. you, there are some, <laughs> there are some pretty cool stuff left in there, like the um, the SAR. That's a nice little card art. Um, like the not not SAR, sorry, the um, illustration rare um, Charizard. Okay. That the um, the American one is known for. Okay, so so question: Are the ultimate hit cards, let's call them that, the same as the Japanese and as the American ones, or are they different? Uh, they're different. So, what's the hit card from the, the Japanese? For the Japanese ones, you're, the big the big hitters, the heavy hitters, are the um, Gengar Master Ball. Um, okay. Okay. Card. That one selling for about 140 bucks around there. Ungraded. Ungraded. Okay. Ball. Um, and that Gengar is not the same hit because you said Charizard was the one for the American one, correct? Charizard is for the American one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that oh, one, gee, that's very nice. Th this pack is being very nice to us, or me, but it's yeah, very nice to you. <laughs> it's it's very beautiful. nice. <laughs> so we're definitely going to sleeve this one to slide it right here in a second. So go ahead. Um, for the American 151, yeah, you probably want to be looking at the Charizard. Um, for the, um, the Japanese 151, you're looking for the Master Ball Gengar that I said um, goes for about 140 around there, or the Master Ball Pikachu. That one is probably the heaviest of the hitters. That one goes for about 200, 220 raw. Um, so if you can get that as a PSA 10 or a Beckett 10, you're talking a decent chunk of change. That's going to be exciting. And there are, excuse me, um, the Pokemon 151 also are, are um, uh, I say, like, there's a possibility of getting a God Pack in Pokemon uh, Okay. What the God Pack entails is you're essentially getting one normal card and the rest are going to be hits. Okay. okay. Like for instance, like you can get the whole Charizard line and the whole um, Ivysaur line. So you get Charmander, um, oh, okay, okay, I see. and Charizard. All the evolution. Exactly. In the same pack, you'll get two of those. And speaking of... Oh, oh, oh. Mm, this is a nice one. Let's, let's, Wait, let's look at this really quick. Which, which side are you grabbing stuff on the left? Or the That's right? irrelevant. You'll have to watch the the video to find out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve this. How many packs do we have left? Uh, two. So one, and it seems like two. So one, one each. You done pretty much knocked me out. I haven't, <laughs> I've only gotten like four. All right, let's make something special. Uh, this is that's so great. Come on, guys. Let's get something special. Mm -hmm. I don't like that book now. <laughs> Hypno? Or Vroom? Yep. Alright, Copper Roger. It's okay, Hollows. Hey, I got a question. Yes. Knock knock. Jose? Cargo. Cargo. Cargo Vroom Vroom. The exact reason I don't like it. You should see his face right now. <laughs> he's, uh, he's probably about two seconds away from telling me, like, just, just stop, bro. All right, final pack. Final pack. Stop. Let's do something nice. Come on. You know, for the final pack, I probably shouldn't have used a scissor. Should have just been special. Just done the normal way. Oh, big difference. I, obviously, I've seen it. We're 29, 30 packs in. I saw the difference between the back, but 
That's really like this cover more than the than the American one. The standard blue. Aren't the cards slightly smaller too? Yes, they are. Okay. The Japanese ones are slightly smaller than the American. Man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and move these. If you want to show, although you can't, let's get this box out of the way. Let's go ahead and show all the hits of this 30 pack of the Night Wanderer. Night Wanderer. Mm -hmm. Night Wanderer. So these are some of the these are some of the hits that you can expect from um, the Night Wanderer set. Um, I'll, I'll keep these together because they they're really nice here. Here, I'll put the full. Now, which one was the biggest hit of them all? Let me see if I can get them all in frame. Yeah, that's probably the closest that I can get them. So the biggest. The biggest hit is Unpheasant here, the SAR Unpheasant, this one here. Now, it is it is the biggest hit of of the uh, the whole set. Um, close second, um, as of this video, this is the biggest set. Close second is another one called Cassiopeia, um, oh, SAR. Okay. Um, Maybe by the time this video actually goes out, Cassiopeia might be number one, but they're very close. Okay. Like, it's 1A, 1B. Okay. Yeah, the price, pretty much this and Cassiopeia, each of them could be the price of the booster box. Man, that's crazy. So that's exciting. So we did, we were very lucky on this one. I think it's the tag team Juju, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, my favorite card out of the set so far is definitely, uh, probably between these two right here. Just, just a sucker for this one and the exciting news about that one. Um, yeah, so you said, w when can we expect that, uh, and not to be pushy here, but that Japanese 151, because I'm excited for that one. You know, I'm a sucker for the original ones. Uh, very soon, very soon. Very soon, okay. So guys, we're gonna go along with this video. This is Sir Mins, also known as Nano. We have one and only, the one who sponsored the video, Mr. and I mean Mr. Owner of Conquest Cards. We show himself. We are signing off and we appreciate you. Stay tuned for the next opening. Thank you.